And we saw the markets end up higher despite the uh, concerns over the conflict over there in Israel. And the Fed Watch tool is saying we have an increased chance of the Fed taking no decision or actually deciding not to hike uh, at its next meeting coming up in November. Do you agree with that opinion? And do you, do you believe, is that the reason why we saw markets end higher yesterday? Well, there's a lot of truth to that. I mean, you have some, some really uh, terrible headlines across the world. We still have the, the Ukraine-Russia war and now this tragedy that's happening over in Gaza, and yet the stock markets rally. And that just comes down to the fact that interest rates dropped due to the flight to safety. But don't forget, there was a lot of pillow talk coming from the Fed heads yesterday, and they were underscoring the fact that they're aware that they may be near or at the end of the rate hike cycle. And I've said before, the biggest driver for this market is Jerome Powerful. He is the number one factor that could tilt stocks to the positive if the Fed continues this this pillow talk and sweet rhetoric and keep whispering what the market investors want to hear, then I think we see a stock market rally. But short okay. of that, I think there's just cautionary signals. All right. To your point, we have four Fed speakers speaking later today. Also, I talked to you about earnings season begins this week. Um, taking a look at the estimates right now. So the estimates have some earnings growth for Q3, modest growth, but still uh, earnings growth for Q3. Does the rise in oil prices and the potential for an even sharper rise, does that change that narrative in your mind about Q3 earnings? Well, it'll help earnings in the energy sector. But across the board, the inputs that oil have impact, negatively impact earnings. So do wages. And I know in some sectors we have some, some wage compression and it's helping the overall inflation number. But in other industries, we're seeing significant wage hikes. Mack truck just those workers that were this close to signing on a deal, they walked away. You have pilots. Um, you also have, the obviously, the auto workers. But you have healthcare workers striking. And these wage gains across the board are going to impact both earnings or inflation. Can't go any other way. The higher wage component will either lower prices, uh, earnings, or they will raise inflation. And earnings historically are inversely related to stock prices. That's another cautionary sign that I think the market might be slightly under undertaking right now.